Good day, everybody. How you going? This is Kenny here. Kenny Ware, aka Stone Toad. Welcome back to Lone. Uh, what did I just do? Lone Oak. I'm looking at this. At the moment, you'll see the tractor there. It's um, what I'm actually doing is putting in my strip farming. I thought I'd show you the process of that. It's going to be another um, uh, multiplayer. Um, Bundy Dave's just putting it on, so we'll do some multiplaying on Lone Oak. We've got Walker Farm, and we've got um, Sandy Bay um, that we're going to be doing. Basically, um, oh, did you see the new tractor? Uh, what I've got to do is change the grass. I'm just, I'm just putting corn. Oh, there is it, and put one strip of grass in. So I'm putting three strips of corn in. This is the um, High Plains, Great Plains, Great Plains uh, cedar, the Drexo one, even though it is ploughed, um, because I want to keep it uniform across the whole farm. Otherwise, I'll be using the bigger, the bigger one for this ploughed paddock. But I'm doing Drexo um, of corn, and then. Um, and then we're putting uh, one strip of um, grass in. So that's going to be permanent, the grass. Um, yeah, it's going to be permanent. The grass is going to be permanent. The um, uh, the corn itself is only three strips wide. So once we harvest that, manure it, plough it, then we're going to um, put probably cotton in and do a crop of cotton. Um, and then we'll go back to corn again. I'm going to make a cotton and corn basically in a couple of paddocks um, with soy, that sort of thing. Now you got to watch your workers every time they come to the end here because, um, okay, it's going to do the right thing this time. Um, DJ was saying the other day, I don't know, it was just a PC thing, that um, apparently it's glitchy or something when, um, when it turns with an implement on. Um, I was test driving it to see if it if it was happening. Um, first time I put this um, thing on here. So I was interested in the find out there the acorn. So we'll do three rounds of corn now. Um, yeah so far this tractor's going pretty good. I like it actually. Um, I don't like track stuff much. Even though I've got the 9XR and that sort of thing now for this map. Um, I don't really like track tractors. I don't mind headers that attract um, combine harvesters, but the tractors I don't really like much. But this is this is really cool. I like it. The 2020 version of the um, was it John Deere in all its glory. You can see the fan turn around in just inside the grid up and down the bonnet in the grill, I should say, inside the tractor. I look around, oh, not too much. Hmm. Everything's digital, see up there. I've got the extra monitor and that put in there. Or see ratio and stuff, we'll see which way it goes now. Yep, we're going to be going right. On track. On track, get it? <laughs> it's right on track. <laughs> nah, she's, she's cool, I like it. Um, of course we've got the 4440s net around the farm. Jump it down, where we go. That's the AI doing that by the way. But the steering wheel's a bit funny, isn't it? Like um, on the new 2020 model. Sort of weird. We've got the adjustable steering column. I never tried the doors or anything on this to see if they open yet. Um, Black sheep modding 4040s and that sort of thing, you open the window and that. Oh, that was a nice breeze just come through. A bit windy and that out there today. It's supposed to be a storm last night. Then we got some rain, but um, that's about it that happened. So this is the second run on corn. We'll do one more back. There's a stabby pole coming up, a telegraph pole, a electrical pole, whatever you want to call it, wherever you come from. Different, different uh, strokes to make the world. 
so it's there I know this mirror is written right down on this thing like straight down the PC you can probably address those uh, where you going bro? Oh yeah, this trip is going to... I'll have to take over in a sec because uh, it's it's going back like that circuit because that pole's there. Smart AI, really. Because it's going to like dump the thing a bit shy of the, the pole. Um, stop. Reverse. I'm going to do the pull, pull thing. Because when I come in with the uh, chopper and that, and the 4440, it's going to be smaller than the, the plough itself. There we go. Thank you for your cooperation. Have a nice day. River cop. Um, yeah, so, low note. Um, I'm throwing it down, putting strip farming in that in. It's going to be, um, we just cut the, cut the hay, um, uh, the, the bales and that over there. There's some to be bailed, uh, the back paddock. I'm thinking about joining those two paddocks together. Um, or just, yeah, I'm going to put strip, this strip farming in right next to the house on both sides, where the shed net is as well. Um, like last time. Might do the other paddock, I'm not sure yet, but um, yeah. I basically want to put it across the farm, and that way I can switch it up for the grass crop. So we can do um, straw bales, um, hay bales, not sorry, or grass bales all the way through um, in strips, of course, and then um, and the crops in between, like this free space. Like this is the free space. You can see the the grass strip over there is a darker one, which we're about to do in a second. Um, yeah, there's one grass strip, so and you can tell how much crops in between. So and each uh, all the paddocks going to be like that. So whatever the crop is, like soy or whatever we're going to put in between then we can direct sow it I mean, um, so this is direct sower, right, so with this one um, you, you basically put the crop down first um, uh, hang on a sec, I've just got to see, make sure I've got the right one, there it is, grass, thank you very much uh, yeah, so the, the grass crops here at all times so you can always harvest that and get bales in it up or other uh, cows or whatever the case may be um, if you put cereal crops in between the grass so what happens is um, basically when you plough off a paddock or you harvest the paddock there's stubble left over the earth's exposed to the elements the sun and you know that sort of thing erosion from wind and that sort of thing um, so um, because the plants will cut down low um, you basically got the microorganisms that's in every soil your own backyard and stuff you go out there dig it over and have a look you don't even need a shovel just um, you know get a stick use your hand whatever turn over some soil and have a look study it look at it uh, and the worms in that so the, the grass strip is there to for them to retreat to like I've said before in other videos they retreat to the grass and that which um, protects them from the um, sun and that to drying out the soil and that um, and then I come along and I manure the whole lot what's um, harvested even the grass um, so that way the, the worms and that can have something to feed on so at night they'll come out when it's cooler and all the microorganisms and they'll go through and they'll eat all the manure, manure and that spread across the paddock which they leave their own casting and um, uh, worm poo that is, um, they're on, whoop, stop Fred, go back, um, yeah, so they drop their own casting, and we'll change the corn, please, thank you, well, there you go, and I've got to watch this little bit where it started to put some grass down, because it might stop, no, it didn't, thank you very much, um, yeah, so they leave their own casting and that sort of thing through the soil as well, which gives some more nutrients and that sort of thing for the you know, other things to um, eat as well and that's the basis behind it so they've got somewhere to retreat and then they'll, they'll come out and they keep eating the manure and, that, that's, and then when you plough it in they can go through the and get all the um, whatever manure you put down it's more organically um, sound that way um, you know you can put um, super, in, oh, sorry what do they call them 
nitrogen and stuff like that into the soil um, chemically pellet forms and stuff but um, at the end of the day I keep talking to myself over there like looking over at you guys but it's up here um, yeah so that's the basis behind strip farming um, it's better for everything really because um, then the worms that come along they find the um, like the birds in it feed on the worms um, any weeds in it that grow or grass and that that grows in between and this is going the other way why it does that I do not know um, it's only started doing it across halfway across the paddock so that's why you got to watch it you can't just like walk away and let it go on its own little merry way because you strip them for a start so um right that line run it out um, doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but um but basically once I put it put, put the infrastructure down see this is all got to grow on that yet so um and I've got it on real time I haven't got it I'm going to speed it up actually um I just want to put all this stuff in first I don't want things to grow before everything else is put in so I'll be doing that I'll be laying down all the infrastructure in that first um these bales and that over there that need to be baled um which is you know I should have already been onto that. Um, and we've got one more run coming up after this if it goes the right way. So there's a X, um, 9XR or whatever it is. The um, other smaller tractors I've got. Um, Baylor. Love the sound of them, the whole machine. Right there, she's going. No, next one. Alright, lower, on. And away you go. So, as you can see, the dirt, and that's piling up on here, I've got the dirt level set on high, on fast, I mean. So, the maintenance will be kept up on the machines, but um, I want the thing to have the lived in look. Um, yeah, I want all my gear to be um, dirty. The wheels aren't dirty yet because it's running through grass. Once it starts running through the paddocks and that, and just then it picked up a bit of straw when it did that so you're going to have a straw bale pop out every now and then there you go old girl yeah normally I just run a, a the mower and then um, I had the double wing mower on the back but too big didn't like it and of course we have um, The 4440, we'll zoom in. 4440, standard, two wheel drive. Uh, collecting bales, that's full. No, one more. And look at the smoke bellow out, man. So that was the main aim with um, putting these ones on here. It is sort of the fact that I, I love the thing. Hang on. Sorry, buddy, we've got to go over to the other one. There he is. He's coming back on. Which one was that? Stop. I'll just check me run sheet here. See, I've missed one in the middle there. Um, yeah, that's the third one. I've got to get back in grass. So, switch it over to grass, which is just um, L1 and then triangle to switch your switch over what you want. And there we go. Yep. So, I've got a strip going in. So, you can see across the, the uniform across the paddock wall, well, except for those middle ones, it was only two runs. I messed up a bit there. But that was just uh, three runs. Um, I'm going to use the, the small um because I've got the 40. Whoa. 44 40s. Um, so I've got the, like the um, toe behind um, uh, shredder. Oh, what do you call it? The corn harvester. 
so it's going to be just putting it into one of those um, uh, oversized hopper trailer things that I've got. Uh, they're all lizard ones, I can't remember what they are. I think they're lizard. But they're old school type looking things. I can only get green and sort of a orangey yellowy type colour um, thing closest to the John Deere, that's as far as I can get to it. Keep going buddy, keep going. You're right. Don't get scared. No, drop it down. Drop it down. Lower. So that's the thing, if you have control over your vehicle, Uh, watching it basically is what I mean um, then you can make sure that it doesn't do something it's not supposed to be doing and that wire there is annoying there's one on the other pole too the strainer wires for the post you hit those and and you know about it. I'm going to move this over a little bit more. I'm a bit offline. I'm going to go over a bit. Yeah, there we go. So the grass don't matter because i um, cut into it a little bit. There we go. That's maximum. Right, so we'll put it back on the corn, which is one quick coat. On. Hello. What's going on? Why won't it turn over? No. Now, go back. It's not switching the corn for some reason. There we go. That's better. So once once I once I put it all in, um, then I'll come back with the um, like the larger one. It's a twenty eight meter, I think it is, of the uh, Great Plains. Great Plains is about the only cedars that I actually use um, for this reason. I can put strip corning and uh, stripping um, a direct cedar for the corn. Um, cotton anything you want this this one's a direct cedar the other one you have to have a big plowed this one I should have been running on this paddock but I didn't want that extra 28 whip this is only an 18 meter the other one's a 28 meter 26 or 28 I think it's 26 actually but um yeah these are the only plows are um like the direct cedars I really use I actually did put on here to get a bit of color in was um that's a direct plow as well um, was the Stara um, that's a nice big machine beautiful looking on the back of John Deere's or any tractor really um, casing that the Stara Stara is a good looking machine and you can just stop that and go back the other way yeah I, li I like the orange and the green and stuff and the, uh, it's just a big fold out machine it's a, it's a big machine actually I thought we got that uh, 9RX, so we'll give it a run for its money this time. I only just got that um, DLC. Everybody else has had it for ages. I only just got it because um, I wasn't really interested in the, the plows and that they got on it. Um, here's the old hawks. Seed hawks and stuff, if I want something that big. Um, what am I doing? Just corn. Go. Got a slight strip there that I missed. Yeah, look at that. That's rubbish. And that's starting to sort itself out. Yeah, so that will be corn to the end here. I'll do another strip on there, and that that will be this one done. Um, so I'll let that go as long as it keeps going the right way. Yeah, see, I've got this big beast in the sea hawk. Um, that's the way I normally have it anyway. And we'll go out to old mate. Where's old mate? He's over there. See that straw bale in a monster? That's because it turns around at the end and hooks up one. So we'll just go over to this guy and go, why are you doing this? Back. Oop. 
see the back window open and closing every time we do that? I don't mind, that's cool. Right, so this has a, a cow barn and stuff already built into it again. Um, piggeries across the road and the sheep farms down the road. Um, we're actually going to try to get Dave to take that one so then he'll be farming that area and I'll go across and help him, that sort of thing. This guy's just crazy. I've got to get in and push these bales back um, soon. About there. That right, a bit forward. There we go, unload it. Oop, I might. Uh, don't go too far across. Basically, that's what happened last time. I went too far in. Love the sound of these old, girl, old girls. It's noisy because the back window's in. Whoa, yeah, for sure. I'm pretty sure you can open the front door too. Um, maybe not. Uh, yeah, there you go. So it's good for role play. There's a 968. Oh, a 960. How come that's not um, bailing? Yo, buddy, what's going on? I'll have to come back later with the um, baler. Um, that one. See, there's that uh, straw bale, like I said picks it up from the other side. There'll be enough of these in a minute to um, pick up. That's the auto loader by the way. Later I'll get the forklift and bar forks and we'll do it manually. But for now, let's just run it down the line and Um, yeah, it looks like we're still going good too. Yes, yeah, the bale is not working for some reason over there. Right, you finished? Okay. The reason why I did it this way as well, because if you go across ways, um, that way, it gets to that track over there and it misses a bit. Like over the other side there by the piggery, and that this tree is always a problem, so that's why I went this way. Plus it's going to be uniform with the other ones going that way. Um, I like the paddock, what we're just bailing at the moment, we've just got to get rid of those bales. Like bale all that up and get rid of that, and then we can... Um, lay down the next set of um yeah because we'll be running the line in from from here but like it'll be about here actually it's only grass i might just like chuck it straight in now leave this um corner bit to grow are we going to clear that post that's the thing Uh, might have a problem with the um, turnaround there with the house. Yeah, I might. I'll show you where things get a bit, a bit complicated. I've got to run a line. I should go this way. 
that, that bale is not even baling so it's just cutting the grass so we won't even worry about that we won't even worry about this grass actually it's only grass you don't get anything for it so what I will do is start unfolding so I know what I'll, I'll do those bales across the other side in a minute the straw bales because I want to put a whole heap in the shed here you can I think it's gone up to 200 bales now you can have I'm not sure but we'll be doing as much as we can on like, getting it ready for the cows and the pigs and that sort of thing straw bales is the most important thing for me um, if I'm going to have any, any of those critters right so basically from here we're going corn bang we'll leave a bit of a grass strip right near the fence if possible All right, what's going on No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. See, it's registering that there's a a thing there, like the fence, probably. There's not enough room for the fence. All right, we'll lower it and do it ourselves. Yeah, it's pretty close to the fence, isn't it? There we go, it'll straighten up now, and do a straight line. Better than I, I would do. So we're, we're going to run a line from... Um, um, you, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Hey, stop. You can stop with the cutting. You lost your job, pal. See, that bale is still going, so obviously it's not dropped down, that's all. So we'll take the head off. Hang on, i just got to go back to this, um, oh, look at that, see, shocking. This guy, yeah, he's coming the right way, that's alright. So he'll do three runs again, down that run. I'll just put it over here for now. Of course, baling is one of those things, if you're not cutting grass, see this way you cut grass and bale it up and get rid of just the grass bales. But if you're not doing that, um, basically you've got to do all the baling yourself. So, what I'll do is I'll lower that, because we should only have bale on it now. Yeah, there we go. I'll start doing the bales. That guy should be close near the end here. I'll just have a look. Just turn off. Quick, get to the other tractor. Get to the tractor. Right, Mr. Get to the tractor will go stop. Because I want to turn you around and do this last bit here that I wrecked. My bad. Yeah, look at it. See, it's, get, it's got that lived-in look. <laughs> and if, if people get offended by the fact that I'm making these John Deere's and get so dirty, suck it up, princess. Because um, all my gear's going to look like it's been owned. go. Ah, I'm missing a bit, man. Never mind. It's in the middle of the corn. It'll be ploughed in later. So that's, what's that, one, two, that's the third, this is the third pass going back now, so, um, and like I said, all that grass and that's just, um, just been turned over, ploughed in. 
we're going to leave the grass strip next time come through so it's going to be some that's already cut some that's not um, there's going to be strip there in the middle that's cut so when we come through the cut again next time it will already have some already cut but right now turn the right way please grassy that's definitely not my paddock because I refuse to have root crops right there this one they're about to drop it that's when you change it to your grass of course it's L1 then triangle to go across to your grass and then you put it on autopilot and there we go that's your grass strip and we'll go and do three more um, I need to get the little attractor with the this one out the way how quick is it oh, it's going to be over there before I know it yeah so I'll just throw him down here out the way there we go there's the grass one and there's a bale sitting there from the bale already No, 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 no. Drop it. Drop. Lower. Now. There we go. There's a grass strip. Right now. Up. Yeah, around cleared the bale so it's good now it come back online no it's going to go over a bit now I'll switch it back to corn which is one Okay, it's going to play funny, but you've got to let it put on autopilot. What's going on? Lower. There we go. I uh, just had to finesse it a bit. Right, so this is the first run. Um, probably, sorry, it's so boring just watching the same tractor doing stuff, but this is how you put it in. Um, I want to show you that you know now it cuts through grass and that as well because it's direct sow. Um, once they see, I could miss a miss a um, section of grass and just leave it there, but I want it all to grow uniform. So that's why I'm actually planting grass at the same time. Um, because I want it to be uniform across the thing. If I leave a strip and then do some more corn, it's not the same width in that as well. Uh, I can, I, you know, I'm not that good at judgment, so I'll um, probably go the wrong way and wreck it. It's always going to turn the opposite way just before it turns around, so it gets a full turn on it. And that way, you know it's coming back on the on the where it's supposed to be. If it turns the opposite way towards the cut then you know it's going to go the other way so you're going to be planting back over what you've already done or the one next to it which is the grass so this is the second run through let's go right out and have a look at it there we go we've got the drone pole on it at the moment auto drone it's um uh I by Dairy Boy, Dairy Boys. Um, yeah, I like watching his. Uh, he's got the 4040, um, 4440, and I like watching his um, drone videos and stuff like that. He's uh, I've subscribed to him and everything. So 
and 10th generation farmer uh, all about the dairy bro all about the dairy um, funny enough um, I, I follow a lot of YouTubers really I like and subscribe and I watch their videos all the time Uh, one, two, yeah, this is the third one. Maybe you look then. So that other bit next to the house there, um, I might leave it just grass, like it is, or I might actually put two short strips in there, or three short strips. Don't know, because that stavy, the stavy pole isn't out there, are always a problem, so, um, that's the telegraph poles. Um, yeah power lines, whatever you want to call them, whichever country you're from. So this is the third run, then we come back on the grass. See I was going to cut all that grass, get all the bales, sell the bales and that sort of thing, but as you can tell by the money up there, I've put a bit of the cheap money in to buy all the paddocks I wanted to, and the equipment, so um, and then we maxed it out at the actual um, the uh, equipment too. bit of a drink now this is where it comes down to it see when when they line up and he reverses up that's when you go stop and then you go to across the grass again if you look down the bottom right hand corner there's the um there it is grass so then you hit action and now you have to do that wait for him to drop it because then they're in perfect line. If, if you do it beforehand, then you've got to try to line it up yourself. So if you just let them do the thing, um, and as you can tell by looking around the farm, um, like over there, there's a strip farming and that over across the road there. I don't own that one there. Um, but I'm going to do in front of the shed as well with strip farming. Like I said, that square paddock, in that square bit there, I may strip farm it or I may just leave it the way it is. I might just leave it the way it is actually. I could put a little plot in there or something. And this one here where I'm going to bale a bit later, I'll do that later. It's sort of like so. If you watch the steering, yeah it's turned that way so it's going to turn right around and come back on to where it's supposed to be. But Low note, that's the one up the top of the hill there. Um, that's what gives it the, its name. A reverse up, drops it down, stop it. Switch it out. Oh. Full meat, that's grass, there's corn. The corn's the next one in line, so when you do the grass, you can go bang straight onto corn. So I've got to do three strips of that. So this is like. Um, Exactly the same as like drone flying with my drone, isn't it? With my castle. So basically, I haven't done anything to the yard. I've just put the um, silo on that there. Um, that's it. This map, you don't have to do anything to it. Like I said, you've got the sheep down the road at their own farm. You've got the piggery down there with its own farm. And this is the first of the corn coming up. So, two more strips going down and up. And so far, we're like, we just started this one because it's going to go over the hill there to that track there. So well, I suppose we're nearly halfway. Not quite. But this is this is a, a decent size map for um, acreage, basically. Um, like Walker Farm, big massive acreage, love it. Um, We've got a, um, me and Bundy Dave got a multiplayer on that one that we're going to be using. Um, if crazy and that want to join us later, they can do so. Um, is there a strip there? Sure, oh, there it is. So, this one down and then one back. Sorry if it's boring and that, but this is how you put strip farming in that end. I want to make it absolutely transplanted into your head. That's what, how to do it. So, um, when you can do your own farms because 
I've never seen anybody do it on um, Farm and Simulator until I did it on this farm. It was the first farm I did it on. Um, with all my, if you go back when I first started doing um, recordings and stuff, that that's what I did. I did strip farming and that. Um, a lot of people will say, "Why would you bother?" Well, I was giving you the reasons for it for the microorganisms, that sort of thing, organic. You know, with um, more organic farming, you can spray in that as much as you want. I've got weeds that turned off, so I'm cheating anyway. Um, and limes turned off. But, um, yeah, so manure. We're, we're going to be filling up, that's hence the, um, the, the all-purpose silo there. Um, we're just going to put the manure wagon there. It's one of the big red ones. Um, with the same sort of that, that B whatever they are those older type ones so that these smaller um, 4440s and that sort of thing can pull them and it'll look better because it looks old school um, so we've got the big manure wagon there um, big red one or well, we're going to make it green with the yellow yellowish tires I think it's old vent green but anyway just that looks like the old school stuff. Because on PC, when I when I started up the Australian one there, the Outback Farm, uh, any uh, map makers out there that can transfer the maps over? Because it's just been one. The goat farms just come over from 15, I think it was. And the ducks and that. First ever. On 19. They were the, they were the ones that, um, yeah, as soon as they make those mods so you can put them on every map, they'll be on here and... That don't you worry about that if somebody puts the mod out for just the goat farm like the goat enclosure and the duck enclosures um, they'll be on the, all the maps for sure especially the goats especially if they make an open paddock one like they like they have been lately for goats and if you don't know how to do the goats go see Shy Wizard um, he'll, sh he'll show you his video on it <laughs> um did I just do that wrong? I just did that wrong, didn't I? Yep, that's supposed to be... Uh, yep, talking too much. Supposed to be actual grass. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back and plough it as grass. Because I've always got one extra strip too much. You would say, who cares? You just wasted seed? Well... I care. It's my farm. I'll make sure I do it the way I want to do it. Uh, see that? That. There we go. Over one. There. It's good sometimes from the air. Okay. Now we just change it over to grass. We'll see radish and then grass, bang. There you go. There we go, that's better. It's a little bit over, but the next one, one next to it is corn, so it doesn't matter. <coughs> <coughs> Emphysema's playing up again. But yeah, like I said, you know, like I tried to do something different. First time I ever got on here and started doing a recording, I said, what can I do different to, um, you know, what everybody else is doing. Because, you know, look at Sandy Bay at the moment. Everybody's doing Sandy Bay. And it's, um... And honestly, I don't really even like the map. Um, never did on 17 either. Except for the cop cars and all the rest of that stuff, that were added stuff. But the map itself, I'm not that keen about but I'm going to do a, a let's play on it anyway um, multiplayer why because I want to do the carbs and that that's the reason why plain and simple <laughs> I want to do the car farm I want to do the veal raise veal Rear them up to Roseville and then sell them. Apparently you can do it on there, so that's where I want to do it. 
Um, yeah. I like doing different things. Like with the goats in there, I love to be doing all the goats on this farm as well. But last time I had all cattle yards in, the, in here. Like uh, for a feedlot type of thing, but I'm just going to use the normal cattle yard, put Brahmins in there of course. And beef cattle, not, not um, dairy cattle. I'll leave that up to 10th generation and um, um, all them guys that do all the dairy stuff. Um, yeah, go over to their channels and, uh, on their videos and check it out for, for real. Um, see the work they put into it. It's good. I like it a lot. We've got a, um, a Jersey dairy up the road here and um, they built that up from scratch. Now it's all on the shelves isn't it? You can buy it anytime you want, so it's good. We're only going to go up to an hour today because um, I'm just babbling away about this farm. Not really doing much on it, I was just laying down there. This is what I'll be doing to um, uh, putting all the infrastructure in that on the farm and then after that we'll just um, we'll be doing the multiplayer and, that and playing the farm out. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Um, hopefully we'll get crazy in it to join us as uh, me and Bunny Dave and have a few of us on here, and, or a couple at least, so then that way we've got other heads running around. A bit more conversation. Um, so that's one, two. This is the third one. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with this paddock yet. I might um, cut that bottom off and make it square it up. And then, um, yeah, I really don't know what to do with it. Some people I know took the trees in it out. So they took all the trees off. But um, it's how they play the map. But I'm playing like that. I set the camera a bit further away this time, the screen and that. Um, to just see my my head and see a little bit around the background so it breaks up my ugly brain don't smash all your screens at once <laughs> yes can I do something about this man this might be here looks like a walrus I am the walrus There we go now, one grass. It's 420 on the back run. It's a grass run. Look at those crows. Get out of here, birds. DJ, come and get your birds out of my bloody farm. Alright, so now we'll chuck it over the grass again. So this is how you put it down. Let's, um, yeah, I can hear you all saying, oh yeah, yeah, we know, we know, we've seen it. Um, but have you seen it? This is what you've got to do. So you want to put strip farming in, join the strip farming community. Um, <laughs> see, I had all those, um, uh, I forget who the model was, but he had the, the hay barn where you roll up the, the um, hessian not hessian, the, the, the shea cloth and that and the, the cow barn and the pig barn and I had them and I put them on the Australian map when they first come out um, that more eco eco friendly, they had sunroof and that sort of thing um, they were more eco cow barns and that but they still had them enclosed see this is top, it's got that big yard in that there and they go right down there by the lake close to the lake, they don't go in the lake Near the pond, we've got marin down in there, some crawfish, big mouth bass. Wouldn't be great to be able to hunt and fish on the farm simulator games. I feel we have all the deer and rabbits and that, like GDA, you know, running around everywhere. Hunting, fishing, causing crop destruction. Deer's eating your crops, or the rabbits, you know, eating your crops. How cool would that be? You have to get out there and Pest eradication in those darn crows. 
Now there's um with that map um the cheer cow whatever it is. Um I don't even know how to say it. Shh, quiet. With the with the goats in that on it, uh, and the ducks. Um that farm there, um yeah, they, they got the rabbits in the actual duck duck pen. The Flemish rabbits that are in the cages there, and uh, I used to be, I used to breed rabbits. I still got the original buck and that, or two original bucks here, the the uh, New Zealand white and the Flemish Flemish cross New Zealand white. So one of the certain size rabbit. So we used to we used to breed those and sell them on and stuff. But um, yeah, so when I see those cages, they got on Walker Farm as well. It's um at the place where you do the bales. Um, yeah, over at that farm they got they got the shed net set up there. We farm some rabbits net in as well, two cages blue. So I say that's my farm. It's got my rabbits on it. And that's another thing about the goat farm I liked um as soon as I saw the that rabbit cage it's a European type cage system that they got the ducks and the other two. As soon as I saw they went beauty. So I did say going back a few months on my videos I was saying that um, when Lancey was putting all the stuff into his Lance was putting all the stuff into his map uh, that's Stone Valley in case you don't know um, when he was putting stuff into there I said wouldn't it be great if he got onto the Sky Wizard who I mentioned he, him and DJ were talking about Sky Wizard Shy Wizard Shy Wizard um, I was talking about him so I went and checked out his video and he was doing some stuff on the how to put in water stuff and that, like build a map. And I went, oh, this is cool. And um, yeah, and then he had the goat things and that on there. And I went, oh man. And I actually said, wouldn't it be great if if he actually added those to his map, since he was adding things to his map, instead of the sheep, have um, a whole goat farm. And that would be a first for 19. Um, coming over from PC, like to 19, like my last video I put out with that little map. It's a it's a sh it's a step over from 19, um, uh, from 17 to 19. Well, that come from 15 actually. But that was the man that was going to do it. Was um, shy was shy or sky was it? I keep getting mixed up. I think it's shy was he. I seen it on his channel. I went over there and checked it out, and I went, oh, I like that. So I gave him a like, and and um, yeah, I like the goat bit that he had there. So and then I mentioned it. Well, it would be a good thing. It would be the first ever on 19, but... No. This guy brought it out. Good on him. Because I've always... Since I you know, I had had my farm set up on, on PC and that, and then I couldn't play it because I got a computer that couldn't run it. Shut up. Go away. Go away, cows. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I, I've always wanted the goats in it on there. Because um, goats are one of those things that we have in Australia. I suppose you have them everywhere, really. You've got, oh, actually, they're all over the world. But goat meat's really nice. Um, we uh, use goat milk here in, at, at the house as well. Um, my son drinks goat's, goat's milk. We like um, goat meat. It hasn't got that, um, when you eat sheep, um, that claggy taste, uh, when the, when the fat starts getting a bit cool on the top of your roof of your mouth, the goat hasn't got that. They're very really lean and yummy, especially if they've been on salt bush. But yes, it would have been a first, but now it is a first. So of course, me being me, I terraformed the platform around it and putting more goat farms on, on that one but um, yeah it's one of those maps I've got it, still got it installed but I've taken it off basically I did a live stream on it the other day and then um, took it off because I wanted to put this on and start getting into some multiplayer with, um, with a selection of bigger paddocks and stuff Sandy Bay I put on because it's a uh, um, this one's American map, Walker Farms, American map, um, 
what else have we put on there? I've got the Australian map on there, so we're trying to do, trying to change it up a bit for um, for the viewing in the and the in the country-wise, you know. I would love they have um, Outback map, the Outback map from 17 um, on PC that I had on PC, even the Western Australia map. If they could cut that down. But see, I saw Dagwin's. Um, um, it's nearly time. Um, Dagwin, I watched it, and he had um, the Southern Cross map on there, with the BP server and that sort of thing. And I thought, oh, man, this is really cool. It's like, like gum trees and everything like that. And a really good Australian map, actually. Um, and it had the massive cattle yard there, the stockyard at the dealership. And I thought, yes, that's what we need on a map, especially Australian maps. Hey, how you going? Uh, Birch the book. Okay. Um, yes, and they had the cattle yard in that there. Um, Bordel. Okay. Croissy, Croissy del Bordel. That's for like French, man. Um, yeah. So um, you're just joining, and we're about to go off, mate. American, American. Okay. Question map. Oh, this is a, this is supposed to be American map. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, this is no. I'm Australian. If you're asking what my nationality is. Um. Yeah. So this is American map. Um. Sandy Shores is a British map. And. Um. Walker Farm, is a real life base farm map. <laughs> Trump, <laughs> uh, El Presidente. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I lost track four now. <laughs> uh, cool dude. Um, yeah, so um, I, I was trying to give a, a, a spread of maps. That's why the Australian map I put that on. We're going to be doing a, a role play on that as well. Um, by. Oh, Aussie Farmer, he put that out. This is supposed to be his granddad's, based on his granddad's farm. So I tried to add some Australian touches to it, um, the map itself, by putting corrugated sheds and that sort of thing on it. Built my own map, of course. Same as Walker Farm one, I've got the um, cattle and cane. Um, basically because we do sugar cane and that in Australia, and uh, I made it sort of like an Australian map with um, Brahmin cattle and that sort of thing. Um, Try to make it, and, and it had man trucks in it on there, road trains, man trucks and stuff. See on here we we've got um, black sheep modding. So at the moment I'm doing strip farming. Um, <laughs> yeah, well if I hadn't known all the stuff that he gets up to, he'd probably in jail too, mate. <laughs> People with power get away with a lot of stuff. Hey, have you heard of the Bur Burling Wall? Yeah. Apparently it's a disgrace to humanity and stuff. Yes. Pizza Gate. No. No. Pizza Gate. What's Pizza Gate? No. I don't. I don't know. I don't even know about Hillary and that either. That's the thing I don't know about. I live a sheltered life in Australia. We don't have, um, our politicians are, are weak. They don't do nothing. They do nothing. We complain about them using the helicopter. <laughs> uh, taxpayers' money, man. <laughs> Never alone, swindling heaps and heaps of money away like these mob do. Different strokes to do the world, that's what I see. Different strokes for different folks. 
out of politics. Oh, there's the cows again. Quiet. Quiet. Yeah, so strip farming is something that I, I want to do on all my maps to make people aware of, like, um, the, uh, the soil buddy helping that basically with the manure, especially putting manure back down onto the soils. Uh, what is it doing? No, 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 no. See, it was going so well, now it wants to go back the other way and plow all the, all the corn into grass. Nada. Not going to happen. Okay. I wouldn't know. I'm not an American. It's not important to me. Hollywood is in, I thought Hollywood was in um, Cali, California. Oh, California. You know, hooray for Hollywood. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's LA Hills, right? Or Vinewood Hills. <laughs> Think about it. Well, I wouldn't even bother thinking about it, mate. <laughs> Not into politics, like I said. Don't care about politics. You sort of lost me on the whole lot of that because I'm not into any American politics, never known what they're supposed to stand for. All politicians lie. They, say, they promise all these things to everybody until they get elected and then they just turn around and do the opposite. Wherever their backers are, wherever the money's coming in for themselves and or their party or whatever the case may be and that's what they go for they're not there for the people they never have and they never will from the age of time I mean at the end of the, end of the day you know it's all just uh, material stuff and we can't take it with us trust me Yep. All means nothing on the other side, doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't mean what you stand for or anything else. Everybody just forgets about you. Which is, uh, you should check out some of my videos when we go to the cemetery, isn't it, too? And you'll see him talking to us. Yes. Everybody just forgets about him. Which is the other, <laughs> the other topic, isn't it? It's not, really, uh, it's not the politicians. It's uh, who else runs the world. So there we go. That's that strip farming. And um, with this piece down here, I'm not sure what I want to do with it. I might just run a couple of bits of. Um, yeah, I might run a couple of bits of. Um, no, I won't. I'll just leave it grass. Might put a crop in there later. Just grab this little piece of corn. No, I won't do, do, do that even. Yes. People always do what they want to do in the world. It doesn't matter if they're running a sugar cane place in the middle of the bloody islands or whatever it is. Everybody just does what they want to do. Uh, go. Okay, I'll go. Ah, that's why. There we go, put it on autopilot. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, people can't even order stuff these days from um, the US and that because they stop everything at the um, qu at uh, uh, what do you call it? The docks and stuff like that. They have done for ages actually. If it's going to certain countries, they just stop it from going anywhere. That's why they have those auction war things. Stuff comes in from other countries because it's all US made stuff they only want on their on their thing. Anyway, that's politics shit. I've got a lot more things to think about than politics. Like I said, Berlin Wall. Act against humanity, wasn't it? Mm. Depriving of people. United Nations and everything, all up in arms about it. Still they build the walls. Stop rightful people from owning property. There you go, there's some politics for you. Yes, yeah, trade embargoes, eh? Who runs Border Town? <laughs> Massa Buster. <laughs> Strip farming. The best way to go. Like I said, I was the first one to chuck it in there, so we'll chuck it out there. That I know of on this um, thing, so you know, like it was out there for everybody to start thinking about it, using it, add a bit of a bit more realism to the game. We're thinking about soil condition and stuff like that. What with the seasons, you're going to have more water to the bottom of the hills than what you are to the top of the hills. Going to be wind blown, so less crop up the top okay so it's going to stop there just go a little bit more no fine And there we go, corn. Alright everybody, that's the end of the stream. Thanks for joining, Mr. Bolt. Sorry you didn't get um, the conversation you wanted about um, politics, because I'm not into it, sorry mate. Yes, I could find someone else to talk to it about. I'm not for either of them. They don't mean anything to me, they're not in my country, so... You know, they affect the world, but... But it doesn't affect me in any way, shape, or form. So thanks for joining. Appreciate it. And um, I shall catch everybody later. And remember, try some strip farming. It might look good on your farm. And um, it gives you something to do to, to work out how to harvest it and that sort of thing. Add new depth to your game. And like I said, everybody put in a a yes for the um, boat go goats and stuff like that get on the giants tell them they want goats in the game and that and we can all have a good time with um, putting those on the farm and that as well so alright everybody catch you later I've gone a little bit over time but um, I shall see you later only because um, Mr. Vault there was um, talking so I gave the courtesy of um, staying on here alright Riru bye Um...
pop up notice, give it a like.